The summer treasure is a Thracian treasure from the 4th century BC. Discovered by chance in 1963 in a bronze vessel in an agricultural yard of the village of Letnitsa. Lovshka region in Bulgaria near the village of Krushuna and the village of Alexandrovo. The treasure was discovered when digging foundations for a shepherd. A group of workers came across a bronze vessel buried 50 to 60 centimeters, face down, filled with numerous small silver objects. They immediately shared them. The find was later collected. But to this day there is a suspicion that parts of it have not been returned. According to Professor Ivan Venedikov, perhaps an openwork applique of the lion versus griffin and snakes type was stolen. In this scene can be recognized the prototype of the later Mithraic deity Ion, still dismembered whose homeland may be the Balkan Peninsula. Since, according to ancient ideas, this deity is the sole creator of the universe, it cannot be duplicated in any decoration or scheme. A special indicator in this regard are two other similar applications. From Lukovit and Dolna Koznitsa which were also found as single ones in the complexes to which they belong. It is obviously a cultural religious specificity that excludes multiplicity. The treasure from Letnitsa is dated to the third quarter of the 4th century BC. Only the Romanian researcher Serbu suggests a higher upper limit that goes beyond the Celtic invasion. 350-250 B.C. The hoard consists of appliques for horse ammunition made of silver with gilding. Some of these appliques apparently decorated horse harness. The horse, a solar symbol according to Thracian belief, was revered by them. The summer treasure is a valuable source of information about Thracian religion and art. It consists of appliques and other silver and gilt ornaments for horse harness. The openwork appliques are known from other finds. What is unusual and unique about the find from Letnitsa are the applications in the form of rectangular solid plates with relief images from Thracian and ancient Greek mythology. Eight of them represent the Thracian horseman Heros. Other appliques depict a scene in which a predator attacks a herbivore, on a third, two predatory animals fight each other. The horse head is a complex combination of the images of a seated lion, a bull's head and plant ornaments. Specialists determine the age of the treasure from Letnitsa to be about 2,400 years old. It ranks among the most valuable Thracian relics found in our lands. It is one of the richest sources for Thracian mythology. The discovery of the treasure happens quite by accident. The treasure was found in a bronze cauldron, turned upside down. This leads to the suggestion that it may have been buried as a sacrifice. The scenes depicted on the 15 appliques from Letnitsa carry a social and religious meaning mainly to suggest the idea of the divine origin of royal power. Their exceptional value lies in the fact that they represent a complete pictorial account of the path that, according to Thracian Orphism, the young Thracian aristocrat had to go through in order to reach perfection and be initiated into royal power. This path of maturation, of initiation lasted a certain period of time. 
during which the noble youth passed 14 ritual steps, tests, initiations and mysterious rituals. Thus he gradually mastered the sacred knowledge and attained immortality. Not by chance. In a famous encyclopedia of the Indo-European world, it is the scene from the Letnitsa tiles that is put on the cover. Because it is believed to be the most eloquent scene in art about the beliefs of the Indo-Europeans. The tablets from the Summer Horde shed some light on the mythology of the ancient Thracians and their beliefs, allowing us to glimpse into the culture and worldview of these distant ancestors. The most common image on the plates from Letnitsa is the image of the Thracian horseman. Here is what Professor Drive Diana Gurgova says on this occasion. The Thracians believe in the immortality of the soul, in the immortality of man and the ruler. Which is why the image of the horseman can be seen very often in Thracian art. This is the king ruler turned god. The image of the Thracian horseman was preserved after that and during the Roman era. And after Christianization it passed into the image of Saint George. It is assumed that the treasure was owned by a person from the time of the Odrysian ruler Cotes I, 4th century BC. This applique shows a woman with long hair, a heavy chitin and breasts, like small, relief-bulging rings without inner circles, in fact without, beads, in the centers of the circles. This is how the ancients depicted women who had already given birth. She has no, nipples, on her breasts because they have been, sucked up, by the children she nursed. This woman is the great mother goddess. The earth, also understood as the ruler of the primordial waters in which her companion, the hippocampus, water horse, swims. The static nature of this, earth, Goddess is emphasized by the single huge foot on which she stands, like a, lead soldier. This applique shows a bearded horseman with very short hair galloping to the left. He swings his spear, which he holds in his right hand, over the horse's head. The horseman wears scaly mail and, median, close-fitting breeches that blend with the shoes. This is a constant uniform for the entire scheme, with few exceptions. Both of the hero's arms between the elbow and the wrists are probably fitted with gold safety splints. In the upper right corner of the image, in the literal sense of the word, glued, to the horseman's back, is placed as an emblem, facing right, against the rotation in the scheme, a horse's head with golden reins and a golden mane. And on this application, the mist is depicted, dressed in the clothes of the absent, substituted, young goddess, the interpretation is according to Bosnakovi. The right sleeve of the garment is depicted as a dragon's body. The lower half of the garment is the same as on the Earth Mother Goddess, including the round, hemispherical, pearl ornaments. The left arm and the body above the waist are covered with new material. It is recreated as a fine grid of vertical and horizontal lines, which symbolizes human matter because it is spun and woven. The clothes of the characters in some of the other applications are also made of the same material, probably linen. 
to the right of the Mister, and again in the background on the applique is a three-headed dragon with three dog heads. The body of this dragon has the same structure as the hippopotamus from the previous application. As Bosnakovi's analysis shows, it is about three snakes united in one body, which are identified as follows. The left snake is the hero, Mist. The child, the middle snake is the father, and the right one is the mother. This snake has a special marked eye, which distinguishes her as a female creature, according to Boschnakovi's analysis. The summer treasure is one of the most significant monuments of Thracian art and is important for studying the history of ancient Thrace. There are many Thracian mounds in the area that have not yet been explored. The treasure from the village of Letnitsa is exhibited in the galleries of the National Archaeological Museum in Sofia. Thank you.